well as his sister Heather, Aaron, Nathan, and Joshua. I first want to extend my gratitude for all the friends and relatives that came out to honor her today. When we think of Jenny, we think of orange and blue. The Florida Gators, glittery eyeshadow, and doing her nails. Netflix and cotton candy perfume. <laughs> Those are all things that my sister Jenny loved. One thing that Jenny loved more than anything was the love of her life, Matt. When Matt left with her, Jenny always said a piece of her was missing. And her deep love for him never wavered. Jenny is now reunited with her eternal love, and her heart will now be full. This week, as we said goodbye to Jenny, it hit me how incredibly lucky I've been to have a little sister as a best friend for 43 years. Jenny was incredibly loving and caring, loved to make everybody and anybody laugh, and had the absolute funniest dark sense of humor. <laughs> Growing up, we were inseparable and shared the same group of friends. We named ourselves the Pink Ladies because we loved watching groups together. We spent days on end wreaking havoc. We would stuff our brawls, then walk to the movie theater, and we would drive our niece April with candy. We sing the song Pussy Roll loudly in front of everyone in front of the theater. Oh my god, I never knew that. <laughs> Judy and I would walk to school together every day with our little brother Josh. And Judy was always the protector. Like the time we were walking home and she fought a boy. Just to protect Josh. <laughs> 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 Another time a group of boys were teasing us girls, and she chased them deep into the woods, only to just get stuck in waist deep in the mud. Oh. Oh. And fire trucks were called, and she had to be pulled out by rescue workers. <laughs> she was always one for being adventurous. Like when all of the siblings were young, our brothers Aaron and Nathan, would have us take turns jumping on the back of the ice cream truck to get a ride. <laughs> Until one time, Jenny's fingers got stuck and the truck drugged her down the road. We all did what any brother and sister would do. We pretended like we didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the time mom sent us to Sunday school for the first time and they split us up to go to classroom. When I came back to the main service, I couldn't find Jenny anywhere. As I looked up in the front of the surface, <laughs> in the water pool, Jenny baptized. There Jenny was. Afterwards, she told me she volunteered because it looked fun to get into the water. <laughs> she was never afraid to make fun of herself and always wanted to be different. Like for a Halloween contest, I wanted to be a cat. And Jenny wanted to be a wild thing with pizza hair and green face. Of course, winning the contest for her uniqueness. Jenny was also very creative. Like the time she would hide her teeth in the morning so she wouldn't have to go to school. But mom would outsmart her and take her in place. <laughs> Someone else wants to say a few words? <clears throat>
Um, you know, I mean, I really enjoyed being around Jenny and I'm going to miss her. And just happy everybody could be here and she'd be happy everybody was here. And I mean, you guys know she's she's better and she's happy right now, so. Thank you, David. And thank you, Amber. That's awesome hearing that because I have a lot of those exact same memories. So hearing you talk about that, I know everybody has one of those stories about Jenny because it's just how she was and how she lived. And the constant texts that just keep going and the phone calls that I had one weather the week before. And it was one of those phone calls that just was well over an hour going and going. And you know, oh wait, you know, I'll see you later. Oh wait, what about this or that? And it's just very sudden, very soon. It's gonna be so crazy without her. She definitely enriched my life. She's touched a lot of people, so she's done good here. It's kind of stuff going on without her. Jenny was definitely more than just my aunt. Since a little girl, she was my comfort, my rock. As a teen, I would run over to her house when I needed to get away. <laughs> Even as an adult, like, anytime I needed to call her, time, day, she was there. <laughs> All my memories fell. Fishing with her, going to the races. Just her doing my hair and makeup with Amber all the time. I'm definitely gonna miss her. Thank you. Did anyone else like to say a few words? Yeah. Sorry, I was in the back. <laughs> I'm uh. Josh, uh, Jenny's little brother. <laughs> Sorry. Um, me and Jenny kind of, I know we all had our special bonds with Jenny. I feel like Jenny and I shared a special bond. We were the youngest, so her and I spent a lot of time together growing up. Um, I just... <laughs> like many of you, I feel like there's just a part of me that's missing <laughs> without Jenny. Just uh, I keep thinking that she's gonna call me. Um, but even now, I feel like she's still gonna just like jump out and be like, "Ah, it's like cat, you bitches." I was thinking that one. <laughs> I was like thinking that the time I was doing so. Somebody had to say it. <laughs> and uh, it just makes me reminisce of like all the great times about Jenny, and I am just devastated that I'm not going to be able to make more with Jenny. The, hearing Amber talk about some of the stories reminds me of one, just one of my favorite stories of like Jenny and I. Is, um, there was like a food drive at school, so I'm carrying like a bag of beans to school. <laughs> and uh, there was this girl that was like just making fun of Jenny and I, and she kept like picking on Jenny and like saying stuff to Jenny so I was like stop picking on my sister and I smacked her in the face with a bag of beans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then it was just like one of the things we kind of looked out for each other we had a bond and she did the same thing for me when I was younger and I was being picked on it was um I just wish Jenny sometimes understood just how much she was truly loved by not just us her friends her family even other people that weren't here doesn't mean that they're she wasn't loved by them 